I need to produce a pixel version of the shoe. I'll let you know what I've done to set this all up. So let's go to the preferences box or dialog box. Okay, I'll go ahead and just drag this to the center of the screen. Notice in the general section, you see keyword increment, just one pixel, good to go, okay? Next, we go to units. Make sure that general is set to pixels, stroke is set to pixels. Guide and grid, grid line every one pixel, subdivisions one pixel. Click OK, you're good to go. The other thing that you need to do is when you go to the view menu, so you go, go toward the bottom, or just kind of, there it is, you'll see show grid. My screen has hide grid because I've already selected show grid. Simple, right? And make sure that snap to grid, snap to pixel, and snap to point are selected. You're good to go. Now you see a grid. So without the grid, we see absolutely nothing blank. It's going to be a bit tough to create pixel art without that grid. So it's just good to have it displayed. And I will show you why. Now, all right, so switch to blue. And I will start here. And I will go to this point here because I am trying to make sure that I get uh, a solid line of pixels versus half pixels. So those of you who don't know what half pixels are, let me tell you and show you. When we have some type of setup where you've got, and notice how it's snapping to that pixel grid or it's, here, let me show you. Snap to grid, snap to pixel. So that is snapping to grid, snap to pixel. So we undo snap to pixel. Now we can do this. Notice how half of these boxes down here and these pixel boxes are filled. That's a half pixel. Now, if I turn this blue rectangular shaped row of pixels into black, you can actually see. Actually, I'll keep the black so that you can see which is blue, which is black, and where the half pixels are. So now that we've gone over half pixels, remember we want to avoid half pixels. So we need to make sure that snap to pixel and snap to grid are checked. Cool. And since we don't have a full pixel box here and also if, all right, rectangle tool. If you want to select the rectangle tool with your mouse, of course you know where it is. But the shortcut to the rectangle tool is M. Cool, got it? Cool. And since we're avoiding half pixels and we need this to go in a diagonal direction, we will avoid filling this box here. Control Z, Command Z. I'm on the Mac for crying out loud. And I pressed V to select the selection tool. Okay, so now we need to move in a left direction. So M, and I'm going to fill this to about here because I can actually start moving upward diagonally here. And we just need that there. And of course with these guys, that's pretty simple. Right? Stretch that one out, stretch it out even more, and we can do this. Got it? Now, this section here, you would think that a straight line down there would be okay, but notice how it's a little small. So let's just do this. And do this. And oh, one more. And here, one more. Oops. And we go up. And now, these little lines that uh, suggest the shoe is in motion. Done. And that's what you need to do. So let's say for example, I I don't know if because of the resolution of the video, uh, the screen recorder, I'm not sure if you're actually going to get to see how crisp and clean this looks. So I'm going to go to the layer here, 
turn off the bottom layer. I'm going to go down, you press command and the minus key. You go down until on the bottom left is where you see the percentage in terms of scale. I'm at 100 right now. For me, because I can see it on my screen, it looks pretty clear. So now if I wanted to say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and group command G. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that shoe and I'm going to display the other shoe. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I can. I see half pixels and it looks fuzzy. So now that we've created a pixel version of that shoe, I will be using the pixel version of that shoe because I'm dealing with a 16 by 16 width and height. So there you have it. Boom. Blambo. Boom. You're welcome.